Hey, I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it and give this video a like. Podcast below in the description. Subscribe to that as well. We're sponsored by Tito's Handmade Vodka. Yes, we are. They're the sponsor of the podcast, sponsor of the YouTube channel. Go make yourself a cocktail. Try a Tito's kickoff with OJ soda water and some Tito's. Don't forget, savor response. Sando uh, in The Athletic, who does a lot of these uh, discussion, wrote a lot of these articles where he talks to um, anonymous NFL sources. He did one where he did the primary concern for every team. The biggest worry for the Niners, he wrote, was a cornerback position that was a liability with Richard Sherman on the team remains a liability without him. Uh, anonymous NFL source, obviously quarterback is a concern, what happens there, but they need a defensive presence on the back end. Their pass rush is so good. If they're not able to stay healthy on the defensive line, that secondary is going to get exposed. Their corner situation sucked last year. Teams really focused on them. Are they better? Maybe they make a move for Stephon Gilmore at some point. I think they need someone. Now, I will say, because we've talked about cornerback quite a bit, it's been my primary concern for the 49ers for several months. You've said a few times, hey, if your pass rush is good, you can survive. So I was like, well, how many teams don't have you know, a solidified corner position? And the number's probably bigger than seven. But six other teams, in addition to the 49ers, were, it was their primary concern, according to Sando's article, was cornerback. And two of those teams are the Cardinals and the Rams. So... Think about Seahawks. this. Uh, sorry, Seahawks, not the Rams. If you're the Rams, if you're Stafford, and if you're McVay, you've got the other three teams in your division, their weakest links is their cornerbacks. Pretty good position to be in. But if you're the Niners, you go, okay, we're, we're not the only ones in this boat in our division. But the Niners made the Super Bowl. Now, Richard was really good that year. He was an all-pro, but they didn't really throw at him. They just threw relentlessly at the other guy, right? I mean, they just threw relentlessly at whoever was the other quarterback. And it was a, a, it was rotating. Sometimes in the Super Bowl, it was changing. Yeah. So I, 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 I my uh, philosophical belief with this is like there, most teams don't like. There's no team right now that's like, you know, we're just rolling out Jalen Ramsey and Darrell Revis. It doesn't exist. Like, are the Rams DBs that really good? I don't know. Like, I mean, they lost a safety. Uh, to the Browns, like to me, their defensive back, like with Jalen Ramsey, they're awesome. But like, are they just locking everyone down? Seattle hasn't been good in the secondary for forever. And they got two good safeties. Think about that. They got Diggs and they got Jamal Adams. And it's like their DB suck. That's how people view it. Cause they, they don't cover. So the Cardinals, I actually kind of like the kid from Washington Murphy. He made a, I remember watching him last Byron year, make some plays. Yeah. yeah. He's solid. But like, is he that great? I don't know. You know, I don't think people view him as like a number one corner, but I don't think that most teams have a true number one corner. Best, maybe Murphy's like a good number two. Like I, if your pass rush is good and really your front seven is good, which the Niners is, I don't think it matters. You know, because it didn't really win they made the Super Bowl. Because yeah, one, point, they, one rushes, point of difference for the Niners, though. Spots. They, their pass rush was elite. Elite, yeah. I don't See, I don't view their them viewing this defensive line i've read this a couple places like it can be really good like it can <laughs> can both play 70 games is like can law become a legit player d ford's on a pitch count well when he comes in does he look like fucking trevor hoffman or does he uh, yeah he does gets shelled deliver <laughs> yeah does armstead make plays do all these other guys that everyone's like oh these guys are all sweet like do they actually make a bunch of like dj jones chasing people we'll see but i i do think they look really good in 19 because they came in as the second unit, and it's like it's on like Donkey Kong, right? It's easy to be the second unit when it's like your first unit's Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, and Clay Thompson. You're like, I just get to kind of mess around and cook. It's another thing where it's like you kind of got to be a starter. Well, your offense too. is scoring 40 points, running the ball. Teams are just desperate. There's not much clock left, and they're down three scores. Yeah, I, I, I do think their team, their defense, one point of difference for them last year too, and I think on this team. If your corners can't really cover, and you know they're pretty hit or miss, and you know Josh Norman is not some lockdown cover guy, if all of them, and I include the safeties in this, are willing to tackle and hit, your team looks a lot better, and that is a point of difference they've had the last two years with their with their DBs, and losing Richard is a big deal because Richard's the best tackling probably corner of all time, but obviously Jimmy Ward will destroy you. Kwan Williams loves to tackle. Mosley, excellent tackler. Uh, Tart, when if he plays, Hufanga, like those guys are all hitters. So to me, you can make up for it as like they were just fantastic tacklers because they're gonna some guys are gonna get open, but they all tackle. Ferret will tackle. Uh, Norman will tackle, even though I, when I think of Josh Norman, 
the thing that went viral the last couple of years when he tried to tackle the big guy, you know, on that, on that Henry's used to it on that drill. Yeah, you know, yeah. he just, <laughs> so it like, at least if you have a bunch of guys that won't tackle and won't cover, then you're just going to be a terrible, like I never feel their DBs are that bad because they will like every other play hit someone really hard. So that, that does help. Yeah. I mean, you're trying to limit yak, right? There's a, you, your offense loves yak for a reason. It's very valuable. So limiting yak is also very valuable. But, you know, tackling is also a phys- – it's a, it's a physical event. And the Niners have a history of defensive backs that don't stay healthy, right? Well, I, I do th- – Like that would be, be – inter- if, if I was given the anonymous quote, <laughs> that would be my anonymous quote. It wouldn't be anonymous. Yeah. I'll say it here, right? It's, we all know it. Like the number one concern is their health. Are they deep enough if they're not healthy? Are we going to learn that much about their defensive backfield the first couple of weeks? I mean, obviously, I, there's probably not one human alive that will play anyone Lions fantasy at corner, or I mean, at wide receiver. The Eagles do have two names, right? I mean, Rager was a first round pick, and Devontae Smith was the Heisman Trophy winner. But, like, I, who knows? Like, I don't know. They might be sweet. They might not. It might take them a little while. Jalen, I think the next couple weeks after that, it'll get going. Maybe you'll learn a little bit with the Eagles. I just don't know week one if you're going to learn that much about their defensive backfield. If they are getting beat by Goff in the Rams, or I mean, not the Rams, the Lions, if it's a problem week one, they got problems. Well, right? I'll tell you, yeah, they're off. Yeah, well, absolutely. Week one for sure. Week two, their offensive line's probably more of a concern than their secondary against the Eagles, right? Can they protect? Well, who, well who's blocking? What guard is blocking Fletcher Cox on that team? Can McGlinchey hang with like Brandon Graham and some of the defensive ends they're going to throw at them? I and feel they, good about and, Trent. And, and, and an injury. Can Trent event. Williams block them all? Because he could, but I mean, well, but if he can only play hurt, one position, I mean, that would be. I saw somebody ask Barrows in a mailbag, like, who's the number one player they couldn't? If you had to pick injury, they couldn't get hurt. But is it Bosa? And he's like, well, Bosa. It's it's Trent Williams. Based on just the level of replacement, is non-existent. It'd be a rookie. Well, they lost Bosa last year, and they had a playoff level defense, right? Trent Williams goes out there, they'd be in trouble. Would you agree that's the number one? Well, if, if like week one, if you told me that Jimmy got banged up and Trey's in street clothes, like I would not feel good. If you said that Sudfeld has to play three quarters, are the Niners a lock? I'd be like, ah, right. It could get weird fast. But yeah, big picture. To me, it's just, you just gave him $65 million. He's probably pound for pound the best player on your team literally he's the most pounds i think because he's the biggest guy but i mean he's just he's a Jason fucking Fred, if you go pound for pound it just means you know per <laughs> yeah, pound. yeah so i mean hell maybe De- maybe debo you know i you trent is just i i think when you factor in the money you just gave him like once you give a guy a lot of money in my opinion i don't even think this is in my this is everyone's opinion you are just you're all in on that guy john let's tell the people about DraftKings. Sign up at DraftKings right now with the promo code HAM and get in our game. It's linked in the description below. How about a good night's sleep with our friends at sleepnumber.com slash HAM. Biggest sale of the year right now, sleepnumber.com slash HAM. So whenever you see some of these guys that miss a bunch of time, I I think that's why Carl Lawson's like such a kick in the dick for the Jets. It's like they just gave him a bunch of cash. When you give a guy a lot of money, you're not, you don't just think the guy's good, but like, the way the business of the sport is set up, right? You're just all in on this guy being a sweet player financially. I mean, it's time to go. No different than when I trade multiple picks for these guys. Like I I need this guy to be really good. Like I I was talking to a buddy. I was asking about Laramie Tunzel. I'm like, is he, was he, how is he? You know, I'm like, I can't pretend I've watched most Texans games. Like, you know, he's 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 good. (laughs) I know. You've ever seen Casero talk? He's got like probably two friends in the in the media. He is not he's a got the skinny face and he's just guy just boring. But he's like he's a good player. But is he you know, he's not Trent Williams. He's not, you know, what Tyron's he's not elite. You know, at least Jalen Ramsey and Khalil Mack, like when those teams first got him, are like the best at their position. That's not Laramie Tunzel. So they got him a little out of desperation. Cause I would look at it like, well, could you trade him? Because he's under contract. Yeah, you might get like a first. So you pay, you know, if you just, let's say two firsts and a, a second or the equivalent of $10 million. Obviously, they're worth more worth than that. It. But could you, would you just trade him for just a one and just take your loss at like $4 million? It makes right? it easy because it's not your loss if you're Casario, right? 
Yeah, you just need the pick. So you next need a year, one. You really, what's you more valuable to you, a one or him? Or him. Who's now dude? the problem is, who's giving you a one? You do need a might, left tackle. It might be somebody really good. Yeah, yeah. Do you to protect who? I mean, you well, do. You just right. you, you just need a left. I, I think if we could rewind time before Harbaugh, let's say we were doing this in 2010. We'd be like, God, they got a bunch of assets. Like, think you could flip Vernon, you could flip Joe Staley. It's like, well, you just need some good players. <laughs> you know, yeah. you don't. You can utilize if you do have good players. Remember when Pete got the job in Seattle and they cut? I think they set a record in like a 12 month span, like cutting, adding. Like he just treated it like the meat market, like kind of like baseball guys do. But he didn't have anybody, and then eventually he just acquired guys. Then he had kind of his core group. I do think if you inherit good guys, I tend to want to keep them. If yeah, if I, contract. I, if your team's going to be bad, though, they've got to be leaders, right? They've got to be Joe Staley types. Yeah, if he's not, then he, otherwise, then you. you just you're willing to downgrade talent, like you just. But those guys don't, you know. Again, not to relitigate this one, but what Harbaugh walked into was pretty incredible. When you look back yeah. at how bad they'd been, that roster. I know you know. I mean, everyone knows it. I just to me. It's fascinating always to look at, like, what that team was and how shocking it was to the league that they were as good as they were. But as it turned out, you looked at that roster. I mean, it was absolutely stacked. Well, what if I told a, a team inheriting guys in their prime, Joe Staley, Frank Gore, Vernon Davis, Patrick Willis, young Crabtree. <laughs> I mean, they just had – I mean, they had five or six pieces just to jump, right, just to start. <laughs> I mean, that's, that was just to start. They had those guys. Wait, an elite middle linebacker, an elite left tackle, a, a high-end running back, an elite talent at tight end, a young top 10 wide receiver. <laughs> you know, I was like, um, yeah, I'll be Alex Smith. Now, when I say Alex now, it, it resonates a lot different than when he inherited it, right? Yeah. But still, that's a lot better than like, ask Robert Sala what it was like showing up day one when he when he was around the guys. What <laughs> they look like. I, you know, like, holy shit, we need some help. I wonder if Alex... You know, when he was doing the thing where he wasn't actually their quarterback, but he had he was running their offensive drills out at San Jose State. Where, by the way, Trey Lance and Jerry Rice filmed the Chipotle commercial. It's like the go-to. It's just easy. Did it's always that? open. Yeah. Well, it's like where else are you gonna go? You but know, Levi's when probably. When you do that, they like kind of hide where you are. Like this one's like, nope, San Jose State. I'm like that's pretty cool. Like good for know, San Jose State. Yeah. And Trey Lance got the Chipotle commercial. Good for Chipotle surviving, making the comeback. But uh, thriving. it feels like they're thriving. Yeah, thriving. I mean, they, they really, they they really overcome. I remember you and I went to a Chipotle like in the heat of it all. <laughs> it was like we went, we walked to the Chipotle in uh, uh, downtown San Francisco, and there was a sign on the door like "We're closed two days for training" because they were like, you know, trying to get it, trying to get everything back on track after they'd had a few issues. But um, I wonder if you had asked Alex, did did he was did he feel like he had a roster that was about to be really good? That year, when he was just leading team workouts, right? Like, did he know? I feel they thought they were good, if I remember correctly. Like, when they hired Singletary, they thought they had a good team. You know, that's part of, like, no, they thought they had drafted all these good players with, uh, what's his name, McLuhan, remember? Yeah. And, and they were right. Or they did. And then, in fairness, this guy takes a lot of heat. Balky did, Harbaugh's first year, have an incredible draft. He went Upati, Davis, Bowman, Kaepernick. Or it might have been Alden. I don't know. He had like oh, Alden Kaepernick maybe the next year. Maybe that was Anthony the first Davis. year. I don't know. He had Davis. He had Davis, Upati, and Bowman, I think, in the draft. Chris Culliver? When Harbaugh was hired. And Culliver. Was that, is that what uh, you're looking at? I'll pull, pull it up right now. So the 11. It was Harbaugh's first year. It would have been 11. Yeah, it was Harbaugh's first yeah, year. It was Alden, Colin, Culliver, Culliver Daniel Kilgore, Bruce Miller. Oh, so excuse me. So Harbaugh inherited yes. Upati, Davis, and Bowman. Ten was Davis, Upati, Bowman. So also you had Crabtree. you inherited a team that had Staley, Upati, Davis, Bowman, Willis, Vernon Davis, Crabtree, Frank Gore. Did you say Staley? Joe Staley as well. You, you said Willis. I mean, what are we the talking se about? The secondary, Deshaun Golden, <laughs> Goldson. Sorry. Yeah, Dante. I think they signed Dante Whitner maybe in eleven because I remember we watched him in Philly. He was sweet. I mean, he was just knocking people out. And the next year was like nobody can stop us. We got the magic <laughs> touch, baby. AJ <laughs> Jenkins. <laughs> you get cocky fast. Well, you win some, you lose some. But 
Um, yeah, I, I so I go health. I go overall health. If I had to pick something else, I'd say offensive line, even though corners is at the top of my list. Were you, um, would you put anything else above corners concerns for the Niners? No. I mean, quarterback play. I, I, I do think I would put that above corner. Quarterback play. Like, they are depending on Jimmy being good, which he was not last year, and a quarterback who's played one game in like 600 days. And let's face it, from the little we saw in in, uh, in the games in the preseason, which are hard to decipher what matters, what doesn't, pretty big project and a work in progress, uh, which yes. is normal. Like, You're right, but I think there's a chance Trey Lance looks better in real games than he did in preseason games when Kyle is willing to really do everything with him that he's willing to do with him. I would – there would be stretches, but four quarters against all these different defensive looks, once they find a weakness, once they can take something away, it would just be an unknown. Trey Lance is an unknown.